welcome back certified nutritionist Crystal Hammett. Great to see you. Thank you. Great to see you. This is a big talker. We talk about toxic ingredients. There are some banned ingredients, of course, that the FDA looks at, yes. but that list is not real long. It's not real long. It's very loosely based for sure. So money plays a big role in this, of right. course. But toxins, we need to understand the impact they have on our health. Our liver, our, you know, our gallbladder, our kidneys, our lymphatic system helps to constantly detoxify our body. But the toxic burden that we're exposed to these days is just too heavy for our bodies to handle. So if we can take necessary precautions to lighten that toxic load, it's just going to help with our overall health. And maybe impossible to completely avoid these things, but you say if you're aware of what's out there, yes. repeated exposure can be damaging long term, Absolutely. Right? So we know about plastic and deodorants. There's more natural products coming out, but there's some stuff we're consuming daily that maybe people aren't as aware of. So I want to bring it to your attention. Okay. Well, let's start with our first um, number one, which yes. is mercury, that toxic heavy metal. Heavy metal, it really wrecks havoc on our health, a really strong correlation to anxiety and depression and neurological dysfunction, just a bunch of issues. And it's found in one of our most delicious and nutritious protein sources, tuna fish. I eat it all the time. Yes. Mm -hmm. So really, it's not that you have to avoid tuna fish altogether. Really, just one can of your standard tuna fish a week is recommended because of the mercury count. Comes from the air, gets in the ocean, the fish eat it down the whole food line from the krill, eat the tuna, we eat the tuna, we get the mercury. Okay. Gosh, that's depressing. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, it can lead to long-term health problems. Yes, definitely can. And mercury is found in amalgams, dental amalgams. That's something else to look at. Like silver fillings, Yes, essentially. exactly. Let's talk about arsenic, because this is something mm -hmm. that is poisonous, but yes. it's also commonly found. Don't you think of, like, fatality when you yes. think about yeah. Yes. So it's found in a lot of our bottled waters and our rice products. But why? I don't understand. It's erosion from soil, and it's erosion from the rocks, from the springs that the water is coming from. So it's just certain springs and it's certain crops that are going to carry more arsenic. So it is, again, a natural compound like mercury, but we're not supposed to consume it in high amounts, especially children. So think of that rice cereal that you're giving your baby. And rice is in everything. A lot of gluten-free products now are rice substitutes. So really watch that rice. Brown rice does have more a higher um, content of arsenic than white rice. And there's certain waters. So um, Consumer Reports just put out a great report to show what waters to look out for. Some popular ones are this one here from Whole Foods, Starkly, and then also your um, Crystal Geyser, super popular. And that's the one to look for? Those are the ones to avoid. Okay. They had over 10 parts per million of the arsenic that was allowed. Okay. And you said Consumer Reports has a full published list. They do. It just came out about a month or maybe a month and a half ago. Okay. okay. Let's talk about formaldehyde. This is very interesting. I know. What woman wants to be told that their mascara and nail polish is yes. toxic? So formaldehyde does come in a lot of these products. So it's not always listed on the ingredient, but it's definitely tested positive. Um, the Environmental Workers Group has a really great website that you can test your beauty products. So these are some that tested highest on the list. So some of those popular brands that you can find at most of your grocery stores. And formaldehyde, of course, some negative health effects, headaches, nausea, anxiety, mm -hmm. depression, which is sort of this common thread with what yes. we're seeing with some of these toxins. Yeah, and you think of embalming fluid. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes absolutely. Yes, like science class <laughs> in junior high. Let's talk about cellulose. Yeah. And you have a variety of things that we can eat, but also use as yeah. personal care products. So who would think this shredded cheese and feminine products had anything in common. So cellulose actually comes, it's wood shavings. So wood chippings or shavings or sawdust is really found as an anti-caking agent oh. in a, a bunch of shredded cheeses. Uh, oh. And then huh? it's used as a cotton substitute in a lot of our feminine hygiene products. So you'll notice they don't say cotton anywhere. You just think they're cotton. <laughs> like They'll say cotton-like substance or cotton-like feel. Um, but yeah, you can read the box front and back and there's really no cotton in there. Oh, my word. So you're getting this in most delicate parts of the body. There is a lot of styrofoam also that's coming from but the feminine hygiene products. how do we avoid products. these? Like, let's say you use feminine hygiene products. How do you, like, what's coming the alternative? Coming up in the next segment. Okay, so <laughs> alternatives coming up next. Yes, yes absolutely. Yes. Okay, and this last one, sodium bisphalate? Bisulfite. Okay. Yes, so that is found in potato chips, and it's found in toilet bowl cleaner. I mean, that sounds nasty. It's why, it's horrible. Even, why is it even being used? So it is an antibacterial, so it keeps the bacteria from forming just like you're cleaning like your you're toilet. like you're it in the toilet. And it keeps the chips from turning color, so they want them to be nice and pretty in the bag. But it's used as a preservative. It's actually a byproduct, so you're not going to see it on the label. They can get away with that. But almost all, not just these brands, almost all 
potato chip brands, even your baked ones are going to have that. So definitely want to be careful with that. And well, it, this is a depressing segment. I know. <laughs> Does it actually say that on the label? Or no. you need to know what you're looking for, you right? You need to... People like me will help you with research because it's all these hidden ingredients right. they can get away with disguising and masking. With numbers and letters oh, and yeah. all of that. Oh, okay. Yeah.